some of Indiana's biggest employers signed a letter urging state lawmakers to pass a comprehensive hate crime bill. Lawmakers have been debating the potential hate crime law for weeks now. Wish TV's Tim McNicholas live at the Indiana State House with what the letter says. Tim. Yeah, Mike and Brooke, executives from Eli Lilly, C Cummins, and 20 other organizations say Indiana needs a hate crimes law that includes a specific list of protected classes, including race, religion, sexual orientation, gender, and gender identity. On Monument Circle, the latest news scrolls across the MS Communications building. Things like a hate crime bill matter a lot. And MS CEO Jeff Smolian hopes that marquee will soon announce a new hate crime law. It hurts recruitment, it hurts conventions, um, it hurts the workplace quality. Um, it costs us money by being one of five states that don't have a hate crimes bill. You'll find Smullyan's name on this letter sent to House Speaker Brian Bosma and two other lawmakers. The letter states the hate crimes bill currently being debated is unacceptable after the state Senate voted this month to remove a list of protected classes. We need to understand that these things matter and they matter to people who become the workforce of this region. The letter is signed by CEOs and presidents from Salesforce, Anthem, IU Health, Butler University, NCAA, and Holman and Company. An executive with the Indiana engine maker Cummins testified on the bill this month. We have existing employees who have asked to be relocated outside of Indiana because they do not feel welcome and safe here. The bill currently in the House states a judge can consider bias in general as an aggravating circumstance. Governor Holcomb is urging representatives to add the list back in. This is an issue that really is central to creating the workforce of the future. Those employers also state the list should include color, ancestry, national origin, disability, and age. We will be following this bill every step of the way as it's debated in the House, and we'll report any updates right here on Wish TV. Live at the State House, I'm Tim McNicholas, Wish TV News 8.